Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought we would make a bunch of cards because I have some scraps left over from this Good Day Sunshine collection. So a bunch of scraps and two 6x6 six six, um, sheets of paper. So I wanted to use that up and I thought we would make some cards. I also have some stickers in my stash just from other collections that I have used but did not finish the sticker sheet. So I'm going through this and I'm going to pick out four of them where the colors kind of match the Good Day Sunshine collection because there is some pastels and pinks that I have left over sticker sheets but those don't really match. So the four that I'm grabbing, those I might be able to use with the Good Day Sunshine collection and the other three I would just put aside. Now this is also the sped up version of this video. I do have the full video process video in case you guys are interested but this one has been sped up about four times. So it's only about 22 minutes as opposed to the hour and a half that it normally is. But I will have the full size or full video linked down below in case you guys want to watch that one instead. Alright guys, so let's get started. I do already have my card bases and my navy blue layering piece cut out. So my layering piece measures 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 and my card base is 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. Now if you are making this yourself, you're going to want to cut your paper down to 8 and a half by 5 and a half and then on the 8 and a half inch side, you're going to cut it or not cut it, but score it at 4 and a quarter and just fold. So that way you get that 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half inch size. So I am starting off this card, um, card number one, by trying to use up that full six by six sheet of paper. And I cut that down to four by five and a quarter. So it's kind of like double layered now with the navy blue and then on top of the card base. And then I decided it also needs like a little strip of paper. So I'm going through my scraps and I am cutting down the navy blue layering piece according to the scrap kind of size that I need it to be. Um, so I chose this navy blue one. I cut down, I, I don't know, my navy blue paper to like an inch, maybe maybe it was like one and one eighth of an inch or so by the uh, five and three eighths height of the navy blue paper. Oh no, not, sorry, not five and three, it's the four and one eighth because I'm making a landscape card. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stick that down with my ATG tape. Now, if you guys have been along around for a while, you guys know that when I make cards, I love to use my ATG tape. I do use some of my Barely Arts glue for the smaller pieces, but a lot of the time and for the larger pieces, I just love to use my ATG tape, so that's what I normally do. Um, now I'm trying to figure out like what sentiment I want on this card, and I decided I wanted to use this little like camper sticker, so I found this uh, kind of like red picnic-y kind of looking paper. I don't know, that's what it looks like to me, but it's also kind of summery, right? So I decided I wanted to use that and I found that in my scraps pile stash and I am cutting that down to the height I, or to the size I want it to be, which I don't really know what it is, but if you guys watch the full length video, you guys will see, but you guys just, you know, can estimate. Um, just kind of look at the card if you guys are here for the shorter process video and then just kind of make a card based on this, I don't know, the way that I'm, I'm layering it here, however you want to do it. but. Um, so I ended up layering that red onto the navy blue, and I need to add some scrap pieces of the navy blue um, onto that other layering piece because I added in that height with that red paper. I need to match the height um, with this other layering piece so that like it's not like bending on the card and they're all kind of like equal size. Um, and I'm just trimming off any extra if there's any hangover. I'm going to do the same thing with the camper, and I am going to add some scraps onto the back. Um, and that's kind of like where I want to put it. But some is going to lay onto that red pattern paper, and some is going to be on that like pinwheel paper. So the pinwheel paper is going to need to have four layers because there's the other four layers that the um, other piece is kind of going to be laying on, uh, which is going to be, uh, I don't even know which one. Yeah, four layers at the bottom, and for the red it needs two layers. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down, and now we need to figure out like a little sentiment kind of piece. So I got my little image, now I need a sentiment. I'm really enjoying that grillin' and chillin' sticker, and I think it works great with the camper. Though I was debating on using it because I think it goes better with like the little barbecue grill that they also have in this collection somewhere on one of my sticker sheets. But I just went with it anyway, and then I went ahead and put ATG tape on the back of that and then glued that down to my card base. So there we go. We have 
card number one pretty much done. I am just going to go ahead and add some enamel dots and I decided on some red. Sometimes I add some glue first and then stick, it, stick them down even though they are adhesive. Sometimes I just stick them down. I don't know why I do that, but I just, I do. So there we go. Here's card number one. Alright, so moving on to card number two, I decided I'm going to paper piece a bunch of scraps together for this card. So first I'm going to take a white piece that I cut down to four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to use that to arrange my strips of paper in different diagonal kind of ways, but in ways that they kind of line up with one another. So here I am just kind of like playing around with whatever size scraps I have and kind of figuring out where they go. If I need to cut something down a little bit, I will do that um, just so it could fit in that spot. But for the most part, I am pretty much kind of keeping them intact the size that they are at. And that's just a great way to um, use up your scraps and just kind of paper piece them together. And to be honest, you guys are going to see like how this card turned out and it's one of my favorites. I really love how it turned out and this is actually an idea I saw on Pinterest um, and it kind of just stuck with me as I was making this and I was like, you know what, we are going to try it and I really, really, really enjoyed making this. Um, so I'm just working on putting um, and starting to glue my scrap pieces down on the paper and with some of the pieces I'm realizing like, hey, I could use the back side. Why didn't I look at the back side of the paper? So some of them I might flip um, to the other side of the pattern. Um, and I'm still kind of rearranging how I like it better, but just kind of playing around with that. And once I have my pattern um, and the rest kind of figured out, I will just finish um, gluing it all down. So once you have that all glued down and figured out, um, try not to glue it down onto something that you're going to have to clean up after like I did to my, um, you know, my paper cutter. But anyway, you're going to flip it over to the other side and you're going to cut off any of the hangover and just cut around that white um, layering piece. So that's what I did. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue that down to my blue layering piece layer and then onto my card base so um, just kind of getting all the layers down and everything um, and it's just so cute. I did also realize that one of those strips of paper needed a little bit more glue so I just added a little dab of glue but I'm gonna glue this down to my card base or should I say tape? I'm taping this down to my card base and I'm just kind of figuring out which way I want this to lay on my card base um, because it can go kind of two different ways. Most of those papers are kind of non-directional. And now I'm going to go ahead and figure out my stickers I want to layer on top and the decoration which I decided I wanted to use that cute little bathing suit that I did stick down onto white cardstock um, kind of to destigmatize it instead of using like that embossing baby powder kind of stuff but also because I wanted to add foam to the back and make it a little bit more sturdier. Um, so that's what I'm doing for this uh, bathing suit piece, and I like it, but I feel like it needs something more. So um, I'm going through my sticker sheet, and I decide I want, hey, I want the men's version of the bathing suit also. So we got the swim trunks that I just stuck down to the card. The bathing suit, like I said, I'm going to pop that up on some foam dots, and it's just going to add a little bit of dimension on the card um, right there. I believe I also purchased those foam dots, uh, like the foam circle things from Amazon, so I will link that down below um, so you guys could check that out, as well as the collection kit and pretty much whatever I'm using, including my guillotine and whatnot, so I will try to link it all down below. So now I'm adding in this Make a Splash uh, sticker to have my sentiment on the card. I was looking at that YOLO sticker also and I was at first like, I feel like I want it there, but it didn't really go. Same thing with the lemon, I didn't like it. But I felt like under the Make a Splash I needed something else and I decided um, to put in that pinwheel. And then for some reason in this video I've just been using a lot of pop dots and or foam dots and you guys are going to see that a lot throughout this video. Um, so I decided I would add some to my sentiment as well. And then earlier that day I was also doing some stitching with gold thread and I had a scrap left over so I added it to the back of the Make a Splash and that just added a little something something behind that sentiment as well. And then um, to finish this card off, I'm just going to go in with some enamel dots and I really like the white kind of glittery ones. So I am putting down some glue 
or maybe not, I don't know, I maybe I'm just sticking them down this time, I have no idea, but I am just adding in a little bit of those like white glittery um, enamel dots and that completes card number two and it's so cute. So there we go, we have our two cards so far. Alright, so moving on to card number three, I have my blue layering piece again and I really love this watermelon paper and I just wanted to use it on a card. So I was trying to figure out it, figure it out with this card, but I wasn't liking it. So I switched over to this lemon cherry paper and I was like, okay, we're gonna try and work with this lemon cherry paper and I like that other red scrap on there also. Now I am just trying to figure out which way to layer that lemon cherry paper because as you guys can see, it does have like that branding strip on top, even though it is the same pattern paper, but it has that hole in the paper pad and uh, so I need to figure out like how I'm gonna use it, but Ultimately, I decided that I'm just going to cut the length to be five and a quarter to fit on my um, blue layering piece. And then I was just like, you know what, we're just going to cut off that circle and then figure it out from there. And I'm just going to glue it down. So right now, I had no plan um, of what to put in between those two pattern papers. Um, but then it came to me and I was like, you know what, I have some gold scraps of paper. And let me grab some gold. So I just measured out what size I would need. And I'm going to cut down my gold paper to that size. And as you guys can see, I'm, I'm using another paper cutter here. This is my Fiskars paper cutter. And I just like that better for the smaller things I need to cut because it's a lot harder to cut that on the guillotine where I can't really like hold it down because there's a clear plastic thing, guard thing in my body. So I used my Fiskars for that. So I got my gold paper down and now I'm just figuring out how I want my stickers. So I knew I wanted to use that cherry but I wanted something behind it so I stuck down that lemon and it just goes great with that lemon cherry paper that I have up at the top. And for the cherry I decided I would put some foam dots on it because I wanted to add a little bit of dimension to that too. So we got the lemon straight onto the card base and then the cherry is going to go right next to it but it's popped up on some foam so it adds a little bit of dimension. Then I'm going to figure out what sentiment to use and I don't know what I decided on. Oh, there we go. It says Summer of Love. Yeah, so Summer of Love, and I decided to add that onto a white cardstock, and then I liked it where I'm showing you guys, but I felt like I didn't like it lining up with the lemon piece, so I decided I would go back to my sticker sheet and find something else I could add with the lemon and the cherry, and I decided on like this blue flower. And now I like how the sentiment lays and it's just a summer of love, but that way it's not like lined up with the lemon. So I did want to pop that up on some foam as well, add a little bit of dimension and I stuck that down. And then I forgot to add this to my card base before, so I'm going to add it now. Usually I try to add it to my card base first because I don't like adding in the ATG once I have dimension on my card, but it worked out just fine. And then I'm just going to add some enamel dots. This time I chose some red enamel dots I wanted to stick down. Um, I did use some glue, but on the gold paper, glue comes off fairly easily. Um, so I'm not worried about like the glue kind of smudging all over the place because I could just rub it off once it dries. And that completes card number three. So for card number four, I decided I needed to use that watermelon paper finally. I couldn't figure out which orientation I wanted to be, whether portrait or landscape, but ultimately I did decide on the landscape horizontal style. So I am just trying to figure out what paper kind of goes with it. And I'm taking my two larger scraps and just, you know, cutting them down to five and a quarter for the length. and cutting down to size to fit onto my card base with um, some of that navy blue paper in between. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down onto my card base with my ATG tape. Um, and you know, my ATG tape decided it wants to act up in that moment, but that happens sometimes. I still love it all the time and I use it. Um, but yeah, it just, it happens sometimes. So I stick that watermelon paper down and then I stick the green down. Um, I do have one little watermelon sticker that I know I wanted to use. Um, so I needed to figure out like what sentiment to use with that because it's a little watermelon sticker. But before I show you guys that, I am sticking this down onto my card base and I decided I want the watermelon on top. But anyway, so that watermelon sticker, it's tiny, right? So I needed to figure out how to use that and all my little sentiments are tiny. Um, so I found, ended up finding one sticker, um, that says soak up the sun 
on one of my other sticker sheets that I decided I would use with the watermelon because I, I tried to look at a, a, some other options. You guys saw me looking at the little beach chair kind of thing and the little picnic basket. I wasn't liking it. So just the watermelon and the Soak Up the Sun sticker that I destigmatized a little bit and decided I would add on some foam dots to add a little bit of dimension to um, this card. And I gotta be honest here, this is not my favorite card. It's probably one of my least favorite cards, but sometimes that just happens when you're trying to figure out how to use your scraps of paper to make some cards. Um, sometimes it just it's just the way it is. So then I decided this card needs a little something else, so I decided to add in that little like um, tab piece up on top, add some sunglasses, and then another little sentiment that says SPF of 50, but I decided to mat that onto some blue cardstock, and then I was like, okay, maybe now we gotta add the foam, or add the sunglasses, and add some dimension to that, so that's what I'm doing, popping up the sunglasses um, with some foam dots also to add a little bit of dimension there, and um, that made the card look better, but it's still not my favorite. Um, I did go ahead and add the enamel dots, I added in some red enamel dots, and that completes card number four, but like I said, it is not my favorite card. The other three I like a lot more so far, but it's just, it is what it is. So, at this point, I thought I was done, until I realized I still had another six by six sheet of paper left, and I was like, okay, we gotta keep going. Might as well now use up all six card bases that I had cut. Um, so, I'm using that pinwheel paper again. I cut that down to four by five and a quarter. And I decided I'm going to use that cloud paper. Now that cloud paper is not a paper I love because it just kind of looks too realistic for me, whereas everything else is, you know, not realistic. Um, so at first I didn't like it, but I really liked it on this card with that pinwheel paper. So I matted it onto some navy blue paper also, um, cut off that frayed edge part because I didn't cut that properly. I'm gluing down my um, pattern paper, then I'm going to glue down that layering piece, and then we're going to figure out what sticker and sentiment we want on top. And this card does turn out super duper cute. I really like how it does turn out. Um, but yeah, so that's what we got so far. I'm going to attach that to my white card base as well. Um, I, I think the big thing is when you're making um, scrap cards, you definitely want to add layers with um, solid cardstock. I just think it makes it look so much better. So definitely do that, like I've been showing you guys this whole entire video. But um, for this card I decided I'm going to use this little pinwheel thing, like pinwheels in a mason jar with a little doily. I decided it does need some of that blue cardstock outline around it, so I stuck it down to that navy blue and I'm cutting around it. And you guys know I hate fussy cutting. But I do it for the cards because they just look so much better when it's like this on a card. Um, I could have left it blank, but it didn't stand out enough to me, so I did want to add that to the navy blue cardstock. And it just it looks so fabulous. I also decided I don't want to cover up that little like white bright spot on that cloud paper, so I'm going to put that on the left. I am adding in some of the layering scrap pieces um, to make sure that they that this um, element kind of lays flat on my card. Um, so I am adding that on to the top and the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. And then we got to figure out the little sentiment that I want for this card. And I found a sticker that says seize the day. And I like it but I decided it needs some white cardstock behind it. So I put it on some white cardstock, cut around it, left a little bit of that white border, and then I decided I want to add some foam dots again to that sentiment. So I'm going to add the foam dots, and then I'm going to glue it down to my card, and then we just got to add some enamel dots to finish up the card and add a little bit of decoration. Um, I was playing around with some more stickers, and I did decide, hey, I kind of like that flower there, so we just added that in. But yeah, now some red enamel dots. And I've been really liking the red enamel dots with these cards. I think on one of the cards I used white glitter, but for the most part I've been using red. And for some reason I just, I really like it with the navy blue and everything. So anyway, that completed card number five.
All right, so moving on to my last and final card, card number six. At this point, I am pretty much done with this paper pad. And I'm like, okay, let's just grab the biggest scraps I have and put them on a card base. I know I did want to use this, like, uh, word paper also that just has, like, a bunch of fun words on there. I think it says, like, I don't know, popsicle, chill out. Um, I don't even know what else it says, <laughs> to be honest. But... I liked it, so I thought I would stick that down onto my card base, and I decided it would go on the bottom with some of that pinwheel paper at the top. Like I said, I had two full-size sheets of that pinwheel paper, so half of the cards have that pinwheel paper, but it's fine. <laughs> it works out. So I add some ATG tape to the back of that, and then I stick it down to my card base, and now it's time for the part where I decide what sticker to include on this card. And this was really hard for this card for me. Um, at first I was thinking that bicycle, and then I was just like, I don't know, maybe that little grill. I liked it, but I didn't like it at the same time. Um, so I decided I would add in some background kind of paper to make that grill stand out a little bit more. So I just took like some kind of yellow hexagon looking thing from one of the sticker sheets and added that behind there. I still felt like I needed something more, um, and definitely a sentiment. So I'm going with this good time sentiment. Um, and I'm just kind of playing around with where I want this pinwheel sticker to go to. Um, but I decided it would go with the sentiment instead of behind the grill like I was originally thinking. Um, I did put the sentiment onto some navy blue cardstock, cut around it with a little bit of that blue layer showing. Um, and yeah, I still wasn't loving this card so I felt like I needed a little bit something more. But um, I was trying to figure that out with the sunglasses and stuff, but then I decided I would just add some enamel dots. Um, and I was just, I was so done with this paper at this point. Um, but I ended up adding one more sentiment that just says stay cool. And that would complete card number six. So that is everything I have to show you guys for this video. Again, if you want to watch the full longer process video, check out the description box down below where I have it listed. I don't have a lot of scraps left, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you guys in my next crafty video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.